Hi guys, it's Serena Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 179 on SO Exam P. So pause the video quick and try to spam yourself. Okay, assuming you're Tyndale, let's just dive right in. So they give you the probability of not having emergency visits or hospital visits, and then they ask you, calculate the probability at least the policyholder has at least one emergency room visit and at least one hospital stay this year. So let's say I draw a little Venn diagram, but unlike a traditional one, I'm talking about because they give you the probability of no hospital stays and no emergency, I'm going to put it in terms of that, then the probability that they're asking for just becomes the outside because they are saying at least one emergency visit and at least one hospital visit, which means they can't have any of these. So diving right in, if the probability that they stay in neither emergency room nor hospital is 0.61, we can put that in the center right here. Then the probability of no emergency visits, we don't want to count the population that didn't go to either emergency visits or hospital p twice, so we just take that out. So you do 0.7 minus 0.61, which is 0 0.09. On the other side, you have no hospital visits for, with a probability of 0.85. We can do the exact same thing, 0.85 minus 0 0.61, 0 0.24. So then the outside just becomes 1 minus 0 0.24 plus 0.61 plus 0 0.09, which is equal to 0.06, our answer B. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!